Well, we have heard from one of the world's great leaders this morning. Give our former president another round of applause. We had a, an opportunity to meet uh, earlier this morning, and the president made this comment about the interconnectedness uh, between uh, technology and morality. Uh, it reminded me of uh, Dr. King's letter from a Birmingham jail where he said that time in and of itself was neutral, uh, but that if good people use it, they could use it to do good. And that's what this effort is about. And it's so wonderful to be here again with my friend Rafi, who I think is using technology uh, for a great cause for humankind, uh, to tackle disease and disorder. The World Health Organization said well over a billion people uh, face a brain illness. I know in my own country, in the United States of America, some 50 plus million Americans are challenged uh, by uh, different forms of dementia or other types of, of, uh, of diseases and disorders, mental health challenges. But to gather together uh, the minds that exist and to think anew about how we can take on these challenges. And to see my friend uh, Henry uh, Markroom here, and we had a chance to meet in Washington and my offices about the work that is in front of us. Uh, it is so important that we tackle what is the greatest scientific challenge of all times, and that is to not just create a map of the human brain. For one, we don't now have an understanding of how the brain is physically constructed, but moreover, not only do we need to have an understanding of the roadways, we need to have some sense of the traffic on those roadways and the trillions of connections, both chemical and electrical, uh, tying together almost 100 billion neurons, we do not yet know and understand completely how the 302 neurons in a worm actually function. But we have work to do, and we can achieve it together. That's why I'm here. I am convinced that even though, and you're going to hear from others on the panel about the work that's being done in the EU and in Canada, but I'm convinced that the, the pulse of this international growing consensus uh, starts here. And um, we were here together two years ago. And uh, Rafi has taken it upon himself. We've been together. He's traveled all over, uh, gathering together, uh, not in a, a blanket, but I would say in a quilt, um, not one single unbroken piece of cloth, but in many patches and in different uh, places, a quilt, a consensus of people who say now is the time, as Alan Lessner said, as the uh, former president of uh, AAAS, for us to seize the neuroscience moment. And in the United States, we are about this work. Uh, we have created uh, the interagency working group uh, in the White House. We've launched a brain mapping initiative uh, put dollars behind it. Uh, I have said that I believe that the shaping impulse of our success is through international cooperation. And that's why I think that to launch this conference with this meeting is the appropriate uh, linchpin to moving us forward in a non-incremental way. Because we have to work together. Uh, and I know you're going to hear from uh, my friend uh, Ron Suskin a little earlier, a little later, but this is truly uh, the work that we have to engage in. We can make a difference, and in America, we're committed as a government in a bipartisan way. We have elected to take a hold of what is uh, the greatest opportunity for us to advance, not just in terms of medical research, but also in terms of teaching and learning, cognition, uh, there's so much to be done, and bio-inspired engineering, as President uh, 
Perez uh, mentioned earlier about understanding what we can learn about how the brain works to inform the work of computers and in other challenges in engineering are also part of what is the bounty that we can uh, reap from this work. So I'm happy to be here. I am uh, uh, deeply uh, honored with the hospitality of uh, this great nation has welcomed me uh, and my wife who's traveled with me. Uh, we are here and we will always be here for this work because this is the work that will truly change the world. Thank you very much.